All right. Uh, I've been watching this COD Next live stream. And uh, they've been showing some of the new maps that are going to be available in the beta. And uh, some, some live gameplay. There's like hundreds of streamers at this hype event where they're hyping the game. And, oh, it's so nostalgic. And all this, like, hype, 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 make me sick to my stomach bullshit. I love Call of Duty. I play it every single day. I love Modern Warfare, too. I think that, that game is fantastic, even though the menus suck ass. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm a huge... I play every Call of Duty. I've played every Call of Duty for years and years and years and years now. Um, Modern Warfare 2019 was fantastic. I... It took me a while to get into Cold War, but then I ended up really loving that game also. Um, then Vanguard came out. And Vanguard, I never, you know, I enjoyed myself some, but it just wasn't a game I liked all that much. Um, I found myself playing the previous two games far more than Vanguard. Uh, and same with all my, my squad mates. Modern Warfare 2 came out, and I absolutely love it. It blends a lot of the things I love about, um, about Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops, and just like gives it... I don't know. Um, I think the gunplay is better than it's ever been, and that's really heightened my sense of like what I appreciate in a Call of Duty game, and that is gunplay, gunplay and movement, and that just the feel of um, you know how you're interacting with the game, with the guns, with the environment. Um, the sound effects are so important, and the sound design in Modern Warfare Two, and I don't know if anyone can disagree with this with a straight face, but the sound design is fantastic. When those bullets connect, you really feel those bullets. Each gun has a different feel to it, and when you connect and you get the kill, you get the headshot, it just, it sounds and feels so, so good. Um, watching Modern Warfare 3, which I was, you know, when people are like, oh, it's just it's just a DLC for Modern Warfare 2, I was thinking, well, hey, like, if it plays the same, I'm, I'm going to be happy. Uh, it doesn't look like it at all. I mean, some of the movement looks similar if you were, like, sped it up, like, 20%. I mean, it's very arcadey feeling. You move really, really fast, and they're hyping up the speed on the um, on the stream, I don't want it to move faster than Modern Warfare 2. That's plenty fast. Uh, I want to have some heft to it, to the movement, right? Like, I want to be able to, to run and tactical sprint and all those things and slide. That's all fun. But if everybody's just zipping around like they are in these, in these streams, it just becomes, an ar like, it, it, it takes that arcadey gameplay up way too high. The gunplay looks just like Vanguard um, and the movement, um, minus like some of the mantling and other things that we get in, in Modern Warfare 2. It's just fast. The guns have no uh, weight to them. It's this piddly, like, like all the guns sound really like tinny and, and hollow. There's, there's just no weight to the gunplay. It looks like Vanguard, and Vanguard had the most unsatisfying gunplay of the modern Call of Duty era. Uh, this just means we're getting further and further away from what a lot of people want, which is a return to sort of Modern Warfare 2019's more tactical, more uh, realistic approach to gameplay, gunplay, movement, etc. Um, I know it's not really realistic, but you know, the dial in that direction, right? Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, so I'm I'm cert certainly not feeling very optimistic right now, but we'll, I will play the betas and, and make up my mind. And obviously things change, you know, I, lots of times I found myself disappointed with what these games at first, but then they improve. Um, but I don't know, Sledgehammer's really let me down, like Vanguard was a, was a huge disappointment, and this just looks so much like it that I just feel like, great, here we go again, another really disappointing Call of Duty. But I can just play, you know, I can just play Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare, that's fine. Uh, anyways... Beta codes. I have some beta codes for the PS5 beta. I will have more beta codes in a separate video for the following beta. Um, if you want those codes, check out the instructions in the description below. Uh, follow those instructions, and I, you know, I'll send out codes to whoever, uh, you know, whoever follows the instructions and until I'm out of codes, which I have a limited amount so that I don't have that many, but I will send out as many as I can. So yes, read the instructions below. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but read the instructions below, follow the instructions, and hopefully you can get into the early access beta, which starts tomorrow, uh, Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, then it opens up to all PlayStation uh, players. If you don't get a code, it opens up to everybody two days later. Um, and then the same sort of thing happens the next weekend, but with Xbox and PC, um, and is open to all PlayStation players. So, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit this, uh, this notification bell. Definitely do that. And um, I will also hopefully have some codes for uh, for the haunting event in Modern Warfare Two 
which is coming up in a little over a week. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.